What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Three Clues Gamer here, and in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Alien Isolation flat screen and also Alien Isolation with the VR mod. So the process is fairly simple. It's a little confusing at first because for some strange odd reason, the VR mod is not working with Steam or Steam VR. So uh, I figured a workaround and that is to install the VR mod onto the Epic Games version of the of the of the game or the mod. So or rather you have to take the VR mod and put it into uh, the Epic Games version, the folder. So it's it's a little weird, but one thing I noticed right now, right here is Alien Isolation on Steam VR, and it has something to do with the naming because with Alien Isolation, the name of the game here, there's a space between Alien and Isolation. But I'll show you right now. Minimize that on the where is it? On the Epic Games version, as you can see right here, Alien Isolation, um, there is no space. And I tried renaming the Steam version to this version or the structure in terms of the spelling, Alien Isolation without a space, and it worked for a little while. Then it just, it couldn't find a link to the Steam version for some reason. Couldn't find the file on Steam, so. I don't know, uh, there is a way where you can basically alter the path structure so it finds the EXE in Steam but I don't know how to do that. So if anybody knows, uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment in the section and let me know how to do that. But I did uh, do a little bit of digging and I discovered that the game is compatible on Epic. So I have both versions. I have Alien Isolation on Steam and also on the Epic Games. And uh, I think I had it or for a while on the Epic Games Store on the, or on the Epic platform. I got it for free actually, because that's one pretty cool thing about Epic Games is like every month or every couple of weeks, I think they give out free games. And fortunately for me, Alien Isolation happened to be one of them. So, all right, without further ado, here we go. I'm going to start out with Alien Isolation flat screen, and then I will move on to the VR section um, on the Epic Games Store. And also I'll make gameplay videos of both, both versions, the flat and the VR. So here we go. I'll try to go through this as fast as I can. First things first, what you want to do is just to get all the files in order, download the VR version since I already have it up prepared beforehand before making this video. So let's type in Alien Isolation VR mod and go into this site. It's on GitHub and here's the latest version, the beta 0.81 and you can download it from here or right here. Doesn't matter, click it, download it. I already have it, so I'm not gonna do that. And next, what you wanna do is go onto Nexus Mods. If you don't have an account, make one. It's free. Uh, I pay like five, to, like what, five to seven dollars a month for a prescription or prescription, <laughs> you know what I mean? A subscription, prescription, I'm thinking meds, subscription. So um, yeah, it, I download things like, I think it's when you're on the free version, you get up to like two megabytes per second or something. And when you pay, it's unlimited. So anyhow, yeah, just uh, to download mods, you just look through anything that you see here. Uh, for example, I downloaded this one, for example, called Alien Plus. And by the way, I already have a lot of these files downloaded. So I make beforehand, before you mod, have your full folders ready. Uh, I have extreme OCD, so I haven't prepared beforehand. And I like to make the windows the same size to make it completely uniform because I am a psychopath. So here are all the files that you need. These are the ones that I chose that I want to try out. Uh, some of them are for the flat screen and the others are for the VR version. So this is one of the first ones that I saw. It's called Alien Plus. Read the description. It basically, it's for lazy people like me who tend to have cowardly tendencies in horror games. So that alien is gigantic and it freaks me out. So I want to have like any and every possible advantage in the game from the start, from the get go. So it basically this mod gives you all weapons and extra ammo, all craftable items, uh, maintenance, maintenance jack, the gas mask, fully, fully upgraded hacking tool and cutting torch. Uh, what else? Top, what did I say top level blueprints for every item. And there's a light version that doesn't give you ammo or extra items. So you can choose either or me. I chose the standard full one and it says, uh, yeah, this will allow you to get all 
all collectibles, archive logs, ID tags. See, I don't really feel like searching like every nook and cranny of the game just to get ID tags. I mean, if you leave it up to me, I will do that. And I don't want to do that in this game because it's very, uh, I'm already like freaked out about being stalked by a nine foot xenomorph. So I don't need that extra tension. So yeah, it this allows you to get all of them already. So you don't have to backtrack basically as you can read here it says without the need to backtrack after returning for from the anisadora it says you can pick up lower upgrades along the way the fully upgraded version will be restored to you on your next mission you only have to pick up the ion torch on the engineering level and oh see you have to read this i recommend using the mod together with the companion guide it requires microsoft powerpoint okay i don't i don't think i have that companion guide but that's okay though and uh yeah here's a download guide if you want to check that out this is uh okay this all right this is the expo uh exploratory guide all right i'll download it why not oh damn it's 1.9 gigs eh, my internet's fast so i'll probably it'll probably download in like less than a minute all right, I'm gonna let that do its thing. And it says right here, installation, unpack the archive contents into your alien isolation data directory, overwriting the original files. And most of the mods is pretty much installed with this method. It's not hard. So easy, even a mentally challenged individual such as I can do it. So if I can do it, you can do it. Um, there's an alien shooter mod. I downloaded that, but I'm gonna use the other one. This one pretty much does the same thing. It just yeah, it just, okay. It says this mod turns the game into a first person shooter, allowing player to fight back alien and other enemies with earlier access to guns and ammo crafting. Fairly balanced. All right. Yeah, it just it lets you craft more stuff. I'd rather have the other one, I think. The other one pretty much has all these features plus more. And I'm pretty sure what the other mod is, is a derivative of this one. So whoever made the other one probably just combined this one along with some other stuff like free crafting. All right, we did this. I downloaded the mother, the mother VR already. Um, done. Yeah, that's done. I'll take a look at that in a bit. True Colors. I downloaded this. However, I think I found. Yeah, I found some sweet effects stuff, and I think it has reshade built in. So I don't know. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try the regular reshade with the flat screen and the sweet effects. I might try with the VR mod. However, I don't know. There's no guarantee that it'll work. But I heard there's a way. Maybe you can like rename a file or something to from DXGI to D3D11, I'm not really sure. So this, I believe, okay, this is a graphic mod created reshade. Configure so the colors, lights, and shadows in your alien isolation look as real as they do in real life. Uh, you can take a look at the images here and see. All right, it's it's okay. Um, just makes it a little darker and a little more vibrant. You know, regular reshade can, can do that, no problem. I don't think I really need this. And it's not a dramatic effect, it's, it's subtle. So yeah, download that if you want. Uh, improved graphics, I downloaded this, and this basically it adds additional features or settings like um, planar reflections and level detail stuff, shadow map resolution, even goes up to 4096. So be warned, um, you're gonna need a powerful, beefy PC or GPU for this. Oh, okay, I see this. And also you can uh, choose to get rid of the startup movies and or get rid of lens flares. Um, to be honest, the lens flares, I think looks good on the flat screen, but lens flares kind of looked off in VR. So it's solely up to you. I'll show you in a minute what this does when uh, I get going with the modding. Yeah, anyways, this is it. Um, Sane AI is true nightmare. You can read all this stuff if you want. No HUD, I, I have or had this installed already, but I found a, another mod for this actually that i'm going to use for vr it actually it this particular it's a dynamic hud created for vr so i'll show you that next um no hud i will i'll install this onto the flat screen open cage you're gonna need this so make sure you download this and that is if you want to be a cheater like me and i want to add an infinite ammo mod so this is required open cage don't know why it's called open cage but that's the name of it but scene remaster i tried putting this into the vr and it's not working correctly i'm going to try putting it in the flat screen and basically it upscales all the cutscenes to 4k 60. however i've been having some issues with that so i don't know if i'm going to do it or not um no intros that comes with the other mod that i was talking about earlier that you can toggle the 
intros. Here's Infinite Ammo. I downloaded this. And there's a whole bunch of... Here we go. This looks pretty interesting. It says Project. Okay. Project XAV. Xeno... What? Xenophorbic atmospheric visual. That's really blue, though. I don't know. I don't know if I like this. Nah, it's too dark. And nah, I don't like the color palette. All right. I'm not going to take that one. If you have a moderate or a low end GPU, if you want to downscale the textures to 50%, no, no, they're upscale textures. Wait, what is this? Let me see this. 50% of textures are upscaled by the program and not some fancy AI. Okay. No, this is an upscaler, I think. It is an upscale. It says upscale. So when I saw 50%, I, th I thought it meant that it makes it to 50%. So it'll run easy on your PC. All right. Uh, I see some complaints complaints already. I always make sure you always read the posts just to make sure there aren't any outstanding issues because if whenever I read it, if there is, I tend to stay away from it. So yeah, there's a lot of these mods are, um, are reshade presets. Okay. What is this one? True novice. Okay. And graphic tweaks. Yeah. These are basically just regurgitations of other mods, I think. Two times a longer leash on the alien versus vanilla novice makes the alien twice harder to see you and hear you. You actually have to get really close to it. All right, this makes it easier. Okay, here's a reshade right here. Alien isolation, H I S L. I think it stands for how it's how it should look. Let's see what this looks like. Before, after. All right, it's clearer and more vibrant. Okay. There's definitely like Luma Sharpen, I can tell. Yeah, it's not. Oh yeah, yeah, there's definitely some kind of sharpening. It looks good though. Yeah, it does look good. Do I have this? Let me see. Oh, I do, it's right here. Let me see this. All right. All right, it says just drag and drop the contents of the alien isolation, how it should look older. And that's it. If you don't have reshade installed on alien isolation, no worries. As long as you have the reshade app already, this should just be a drag and drop situation. Okay. I'll also show you how to um, install reshade in general. Really easy. All right, here is the BR dynamic HUD mod I was talking about. And this says the mother VR has a static HUD for the flat game. This mod changes the flat HUD for VR displays. And here is a list of changes if you wanna read this yourselves. And here's the directions. It says health bar is visible if less than 30, 35%. Ammo is visible when it is low. Both indicators are visible after a pause for several seconds. Both indicators are in the center at the bottom. Grenades tooltip removed or removed to the center of both health and ammo. All right, I'm gonna try that with the the BR, the BR mod. All right, I am just looking through, see if I miss anything. Oh, this one sounds funny. This mod takes almost all the alien isolation in-game text and runs it through GazooGoolNet. It's it's a silly mod. Basically, it's like all the reading stuff is replaced by like Ebonics or something. Okay, here is a. This reshade looks pretty interesting. It looks really dark though. I don't know. It looks kind of dark. That is, it. well, that's it. I can't find, there is a particular reshade that I'm looking for. I can't seem to find it. All right, what is this? Oh, alien domination. Let's see what people have to say about this. All right, let me take a look at the pictures. It, it, doesn't look it almost looks black and white oh yeah yeah i don't know no i don't like this dark looks kind of morbid the the color palette is is pretty much washed out i don't know some people may like it but for me i, I... all right here is alien collection okay yeah here's the one that i wanted to try here it is it's called alien collection reshade it's all in one reshade reset collection that rep replicates each alien movie looks based on the camera lenses and film stocks used for production okay it's got like lots and all kinds of stuff to it alien one alien two aliens 
All right, here's installation. It's very important to properly, first properly adjust the game's gamma from the options video menu. Download reshade, launch reshade, executable select, alien isolation, blah, blah, blah. Skip the effect packages and close the installer. Download and extract all the content from the alien collection dot zip into the main folder of alien isolation where the next where the game's exe is remove the same files on a stolen mod all right uh what people have to say about this with the post okay latest reshape broke a definition in the lush shader uses dll instead i can confirm this works even with the latest version of reshade the presets now work as intended to look just like these screenshots all right i'll just Yeah, this looks pretty interesting. It, it gives you like a vast array of different. I don't know if I have this. I think I do. I'll just re-download it. All right. So, anyways, yeah, it can choose which mods you want. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to go through this as fast as I can. But um, <laughs> whenever I see mods, I just I. It's a big addiction with me. All right, I can close this out, and I'm just gonna get into it. All right, here is the alien collection. Okay, here is the reshade shaders. Okay, I see it has a whole bunch of ionize. Yeah, I know how to do this. All right, first thing is first. All right, so make sure you have all your downloads ready and set it up like I do. I usually have my downloads here on the left and I'm gonna open up the game folder. So, um, you know what? Hold on one second. Make this a little more narrow. I'm gonna to have to put a middle window and make a empty folder here. Here we go. And keep this right here. And you'll see why. Because some folders, WinRAR folders or 7-zip folders, I have to transfer into here and then open it. So that's my process put them here or from here into here if need be and then drag them into the folder so the first one i'm going to install is actually um where is it let me make this a little longer um not alien plus where is it there is a graphics one that i'm looking for all right download the improved graphics tool and what you want to do is basically click and drag it into the main into the game's main folder right here onto the right and just double click it if you get a pop-up like that just put yes run anyway and you want to locate the game so the particular game that i want is in my d drive i think no it's not in epic games it's in this one is steam come on steam steam library common and okay here it is alien isolation and just hit okay and that's it um once you select the correct folder, it can choose whether you want to start up movies or not. I don't, so I just untick that. Lens flares, I'll keep on since it's flat. And just click onto patch, and then that's it. You're done. The graphics tweak is over. And the next one I want to do is, what is this maximum quality? Okay, this is reshade. Open cage, um, click and drag this click and drag it into the main folder run it as admin okay it says a new version is available just let it update and this is because i want to install the the infinite ammo all right once you see that let me make sure i have the I have the infinite ammo. I thought I had it. Weird. That is really weird. No, that's exploratory guide. Oh man, I have so much crap in here. Okay. No, I don't have it. Come on. It's taking so long. All right, here it is. Infinite ammo. I could have sworn I had this downloaded. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna mess around with the 4K cutscenes. I want to, but we can get it to actually run. But anyways, yeah click and drag this into the middle folder. I think this has to be unzipped. Okay. Make sure that says mods 
And what you want to do is from open cage, you go right here to open level backup manager. There you go. And I think you hit load mod. No, okay, I know, I remember what to do. Go into the mods folder, go into your data folder, and you should have something called mods. Ah, there it is, it says mods. So make sure it says mods and just click unzip the this file right here, the infinite ammo, and when it says mods, and then you just click and drag it over into the main file. And that is it. I can minimize this now. And, ah, okay. Now it's working. All right, make sure you see this, for example. If this is the mod you want to install, infinite ammo 1A, and that is it. And yeah, that's it. You're done. You can close this out now. Close this out and it should be working. All right. In Fruit Graphics, we did that. Uh, and I think last but not least, I want to do the... Oh no, I know what I want to do. I want to do something stupid. I want to install... There's something called a Ripley difficulty mod, and this basically makes the game extremely hard. But at the same time, I'm going to install on top of that the other mod which basically gives me everything for the get-go from the start in terms of like full weaponry blueprints um all the tools that you need like the hack tool and all that shit so it will kind of balance it out i'm i'm curious what will happen so uh yeah all right where is it okay here is the main folder by the way if you can't find your folder right click onto the game like from steam for example hit properties hit install files and then press onto browse and you should be able to go it goes directly to your install file file just in case if anybody is new to the channel or just a newbie in general in terms of modding that's how you do it all right so here is the ripley difficulty mod and wow okay these are all the files so what you want to do is see i have zip or win or seven zip i just i'm too lazy to drag it into the middle folder i don't feel like doing that right now but um basically you just got to match all the corresponding files so this, for example, open this up, the Ripley difficulty mod, and click and drag everything here, everything that you see, and drag it into, well, drag it into the data or the data folder. There you go. Copy to data. And just let everything overwrite, and that is a lot of stuff. All right, good shit. That is done. I want to use the Alien Plus now. So yeah, why not, right? All right, here it says ENV, reduction. So I think, okay, it's right here. There is an ENV folder here already. Click and drag, replace the files. And if you're not sure, like I said, read the instructions on, on the mod page. And sometimes these zip files, they come with a readme text already so you can just read it from here and he explains what it does and i believe that is it uh oh the reshade that's right um i i want i really do i want to try installing the 4k stuff i think i have it actually oh shit what did i do okay right here yeah i have like over a terabyte worth of mods saved from all the games. All right, Alien Isolation. Yeah, I have throughout the years, I downloaded a, like a whole bunch of, um, oh, would you look at that? Okay, I think this is the one I was looking for. Or is this an Alien Collection? Alien Collection. You know what? I'm just gonna try the Alien Collection first. These, these are like other reshades that I found. I'll play with this another time. All right, uh, here is, yeah, here's the 4K stuff. He's the last time I tried installing this for some odd reason, it made everything really big and I couldn't get the window to fit correctly onto my screen. All right, I will come back to this, but for now, you know what? I'm just gonna install the reshade and then that's it. And then I'll start the game up to see how it looks. And I'll play for a little bit, and then after that, then I'll skip on to the um, to the actual VR mod. So I, don't worry, I'll put timestamps into the video because I know most people think I am like long-winded and I talk too much. It's just it's a very bad habit. 
All right, I'm just gonna use the latest free shade. If you don't have the latest free shade, just make sure you go onto the World Wide Web and type in reshade.me and download it from here. Um, you can download the, the latest is 6.1.1 and there's one with full add-on support, but you don't really need that. I've used that before the add-on support because I found some HUD ogle mods and it required that. I'm gonna get rid of that. Put that back in its place. All right, so here's the reshade 6.1, whatever run as admin and you basically hit browse and oh don't give me star red dead 2 oh my god i've been modding that for a fucking week a week uh it's driving me friggin' insane it that game is impossible to mod i'm telling you it's got a mind of its own and it i think that took like 10 years off of my life anyhow um all right just go into the scene library find your exe or alien isolation and it's right here and uh, AI dot exe hit next um, it's the X 10 11 and 12 hit next and don't I don't think you need to worry about any of this these shaders I think it says you just yeah just install it without any anything else and I believe it has its own sh Yeah, it does. It has its own shaders and textures. So um, you want to hit Control A, highlights everything, and just click on and drag it into the main file or main folder, like so. I hope I hope I did it right. I don't know, but we shall soon find out right now. Turn my controller on and I, yo, you know what? Well, okay, I'm just gonna hit play. Here it goes. All right, the reshade is working. Okay, and the mod is working. Look at that. This running mod infinite ammo. All right, I'm gonna expand everything. Um. Hope you can hear me. Let me see something. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, windowed resolution. I gotta play a 4K. Uh, deep color, sure, why not? Full screen, V-Sync. You know, I'll turn the V-Sync on. Shadow map, okay, the, yeah, it's working. Hold on one second. Um, yes save the changes okay um shadow mapping ultra i don't like motion blur depth of field maybe i'll turn that on romantic aberration oh nice this has rtx planar reflections holy shit very cool electric lighting xa we'll turn it on to its max sma i guess Yes. Okay. Hold on one second. Putting in my my heads, my uh, what do you call it? My wireless earbuds, Logitech G Fits, the best wireless earbuds on the market, in my personal opinion. I'll leave a link to the product. Uh, I have a affiliate link for it, so if you want to check it out, no cost to you, but you know it'll help me out. All right, so I'm just gonna check it out. I'm gonna hit the N key. There it is, and yeah, it's working. And you want it to have a performance mode for some reason, but all right, if you want to find different resets, you can. There's 1979, 86, 
There's a whole bunch of them. It's not very clear though. I can't really see it. It's only practically blind. But um. Huh. I don't know what just happened, but. I like it to be this one. Page down. Performance. No. All right. Um. Hit show FPS. Okay. Alright, this is off. This is with this is on. It's clear with it off. But alright, let's I'm gonna check it out. Oh, the wait. Okay, infinite ammo is on. Alien isolation. And a continue game. Alright, let's see. I don't even know where I left off the last time, but there might even start from the beginning, who knows? Okay. I have no idea where I am. I'm going to be honest. I think it looks better default. It's stretching the screen a little bit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh man. Yeah, okay. That is not good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like this reshade. corner all right I'm gonna check out these different reshades I mean, it's okay, I guess. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I don't... It gives the black bars. I'm not really feeling that. Alright, well, I'll check out another reshade a little later. Yeah, I don't like the cinematic black bars. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of that. All right, there is something four Alien Four. All 
Oh no, that is no, that is ugly. And those cinematic black bars again. Okay. Yeah. Not feeling it. Not feeling any of these. That's why all our communications are surfaced by a local Apollo AI, centralizing all requests so that your important message doesn't get lost in the ether. We don't forget the little details, so you get the big picture. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, I just, I don't even know how you can play the, the game like this. Alright. Well, the game works. I might have to start from the beginning to get the mods and everything to work. Um, I, I'm supposed to have... Life moves fast, and it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Where is it? Here it seeks it. We remember that the ultimate goal is clear communication. Connecting people wherever they are. That's why all our communications are serviced by a local Apollo AI, centralizing all requests so that your important message doesn't get lost in the ether. We don't forget the little details, so you get the big picture. I wonder if my revolver even affects the, the alien. Oh shit, I think it's fast. I think that is it. Load mission save? No, how do I get out of here? Previous save? Alright, I'm gonna quit the game. Alright, well, yeah, there you have it. That's how you install mods, folks. Um, I'm gonna probably... What am I going to do? I'm going to find the folders. And I'm going to install my own pre-shade. I think. Ah, okay. It's all here already. Um, yeah, let me get rid of these. Reset. Pre-shade shaders. Does that shit? I think that's it. I'm gonna reinstall it and add my own shit. Run as admin. Next. All right, I'm gonna check all these boxes, basically. Next.
basically going to add all the filters. And I have a folder here called older versions of Reshade. And what I like to do is, where is it? I'm just going to add one of my favorite ones called Real Life Reshade. And I even did this with Red Dead Redemption. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2, and it looks looks fabulous. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that is it. I don't I don't really see anything else that I want to really download. I don't think I need anything else. Alien Collection is not all that. Uh, I'm actually disappointed with it. You, the only other th stuff that I can think to install is maybe just the. Um, Oh, the 4K stuff. You know what? I want to see if that works. Hold on one second. I know. I'm a pain in the ass. My bad. All right. You know what? I'll do that another time. I'll be right back. I'm just going to I'm gonna stop the video and then I'm going to play the flat screen for a little while. Um, and probably for the beginning, I'll play like maybe one or two levels and then I'll skip on to the to the VR portion. But like I said, don't worry. I'll leave timestamps. All right. I shall be right back. All right. What is up, everybody? I am back, and you know what? I decided to try to transfer the 4K movie files, <laughs> or the upscale 4K movie files into, or the cutscenes into the into the game. So what you want to do is download it from the Nexus, and you basically just uh, unzip it, and you'll get all these files as cutscene. So highlight all of these, all right? Control A, well, hit Control again. You don't need the zip file. And what you wanna do is you wanna drag all of these files into data. Bring it a little closer. Go into UI, movies. And you basically wanna, it's 15 files. Yeah, 15 of them. And you just drop it into it. I already did it and it works perfectly. And that really is it. Also, what you want to do is back out and go into the main folder where the EXE is, the game is, and in my download folder, make sure you download the AI movie fix. It comes, it's one of the first files in the main file section of the upscale movie, uh, the upscaled 4K movie mod. And you just uh, double click, download it, Make sure it's AI movie fix and you'll see an X input one underscore three dot DLL. And you just basically just click and you drag it into the folder. I did it already, so I'm not gonna do it again. And that really is it. And uh, yeah, you should be done. It, I don't know how it looks exactly. I know it does work, but if you're having trouble installing it, because the first time I did it, I had the game already set on full screen at 4k so what it did was it made it much bigger for some reason and i couldn't see the menu or the options so before you decide to install this mod make sure you go into the game set the window to windowed not window full screen just put it on windowed and also change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 then save it back out of the game drag the files in there along with the ai movie fix and then start up the game again and it will still be at 10 1920 by 1080 and windowed then you want to go into the settings then basically then switch it over to full screen and back to 4k if you want i don't you know understand why you wouldn't want to play the game in 4k since you're installing 4k movies but if you're if you have a beefy gpu and you want to play the game at 4k and you want 4k cutscenes that's the way you got to do it because if you don't um you can mess it up and you're gonna have to like uninstall it or something unless you know what you're doing and you can go into the documents folder somewhere and manually change it change the settings around to like 1920 by 1080 or you know whatever but the easiest way is just to make sure before you install the mod switch it over to 1080 and windowed and install the mod and then switch it back to 4k full screen all right that is it and yeah here's some gameplay of flat screen version of alien isolation and then after that then i'm gonna install the vr mod and then see if that stuff works all right i shall be right back What is up, everybody? Here we are in Alien Isolation, flat screen version. And I'm going to play a little bit, maybe, uh, I don't know, half hour, hour. We'll see. I want to test out and see if the 4K cinematic cutscene remaster works. 
And by the way, I tried it earlier. I tried the 264, the X264 version, and it didn't work. It gave me a black screen. So I unfortunately had to get rid of it or reinstall the game all over again with all the mods. But now the game is perfect. Looks stunning, as you shall see when I start the game. I'll start from the beginning again. Uh, the cutscenes look pristine. They're, they're crisp, they're sharp, especially in conjunction with the reshade setting that I'm using, which I shall also show you in a second. So when you download that 4K remaster cinematic mod, make sure it's not the X264 version. Uh, download the normal compatibility version. Um, I was hesitant and a bit apprehensive at first. You know, I thought it would be in my best interest to just leave it alone. But, you know me, because of my quirky personality, I just can't let things go. And I just love testing and pushing shit. So I decided to download it, and lo and behold, it works. Uh, if uh, you want better confirmation that it works, check out the posts and the mod author mentions to basically try the compatibility, the, the compatibility version or the normal version, and it's even mentioned in the description, which if only I had bothered to read, but I missed it. So I reread it and it's there. He mentions if there's a black screen, forget about the X264, download the normal. All right, so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna start a new game. And uh, as soon as I jump in, I will show you my reshade settings. And I downloaded also a couple of other presets, ionize. I want to try those as well. So basically, when I download reshade, when I download a reshade, I downloaded all of the effects. So they should be, they should work with the various preset ionize. So, all right, play a game. Start from the beginning. And I downloaded. You'll see a funny text mod. Uh, it's, I guess it's Ebonics. I don't know. Start freshly smoked up game. Do you straight up want to start a freshly smoked up game? Biatch. All the saved data of your current campaign is going to be overwritten. Why not? <laughs> Let me brighten up a little bit and confirm. Wait till you see the cutscenes. They look amazing. I will show you the filters. Like I said that I'm using, uh, I think it's a sharpening it might be like Luna Luma. I think it's called Luma Sharpen and D-E-L-C Sharpen or something. And it basically makes the textures look a little more, uh, I guess you can see a lot more detail on them. So, all right, I'm gonna shut up. Enjoy, enjoy the cutscene. Commercial Starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Look how beautiful that is. Ripley? Upscale Packers. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. The frame rate is not all that. It's, it's definitely not 60. Mother. We think we may have it's more like 30, Amanda. but still, I mean, look at the definition on his face. You can see all his pores. You can see the dirt Anisadora and the slight. Has recovered what we yeah, look at the pores on his face. Recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? You can even see her pores. Zeta Reticula. 
I think she's got slight dirt. No, that's sweat. Okay. We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. Yeah, I don't remember the cutscenes in this game looking like this. This is incredible. So company wants it to be and by the way, this works. It works with the VR uh, mod. Sevastopol's so, a supply depot. Supposedly, the... supposedly. I'm gonna test it out. Permanent Freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called yeah, the I'll, Torrens. Yeah, I'll test it out so you don't days. have to. How's that? We're going to travel out. We. Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley. When this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure. Wow, look for at you. her skin. Here we go. I'll show you the settings also. There is 16K shadows now. Look at those reflections. Look how beautiful that is. You can see all the textures. You see the fine detail in it. All right, let me show you the settings. All right, I have the deep color on. V-Sync I have to have on. Well, I don't have to, but I'd rather have it on because there's um, screen tears. Level of detail, it surpasses ultra. It goes to maximum and then there's nightmare. Shadow map resolution. 2048 is usually its max on the base game, but with a immersive graphics overhaul mod that I found, it went up to 4096. But this one, I'll show you how to install it. I found it in one of the gameplay files. Um, it's the engine XML files. It goes all the way past 8K even to 16K. And uh, yeah, shadow mapping. High, ultra, maximum. Particles stops at ultra. Motion blur, I hate. I have to have turned off. Depth of field, I'll tolerate to give it a bit of a cinematic flair to it. Chromatic aberration, don't really know exactly what that does, but I think that has to do with the lens. Not flares, but it's, uh, it had, there's like, it's pretty much like a full, like photography kind of thing. I can't explain it, but it does some, it simulates like a, some kind of lens effects or lens effect as far as I, I mean, that's what I heard. I'm not really sure. I got to look that up. And planar reflections, you can turn on, off in RTX. When I play in VR, I usually have it off though because it doesn't work well in virtual reality for some reason. And screen space, ambient occlusion, I have on standard. Texture filtering, this is a very low resource intensive uh, parameter, so I leave it at 16. Volumetric lighting, that definitely I have to have on. It really makes the game. Anti-aliasing, I, yeah, I just left it to SMA T1, and yeah, that's it. That's it, and uh, I'll go over the reshade right now. I have it toggled or a toggle function where I could turn it on or off. So this is normal with everything off, all the filters off and this is on. And here is the reshade. Here's what I have, what I chose. 
as you can see, I don't really need this Emirates launch pad, but I found, or I paid for actually, um, some kind of ray tracing simulation filter called RTGI by Marty, uh, Marty's Mods. Uh, it, it kills the performance and it does not look right at all in this game. It makes everything greenish, kind of yellowish, so I took it off. But the rest of these is what makes this game. And um, yeah, this is what creates the the visual effect that, that it gives right now. And it's called real life. It's based on real life reshade. I found this particular uh, preset on uh, Cyberpunk 2077, strangely enough. And it looks amazing on that game. So if you want to check it out, look that up. Look at real life reshade on the Nexus with Cyberpunk 2077. So it's using Lightroom DPX Clarity, Filmic Sharpen. I don't really need all these Sharpen, but Sharpen uh, filters, but I think it looks good though. Um, Filmic, Luma Sharpen, the levels makes the blacks black. And then of course, another Sharpen, DLC Sharpen. I don't really need it, but yeah, with it on now you can, if, if you notice when I take it on and off, if you look at some of the textures over there, you can see it's more refined and more detailed when I have it on. So I like to leave it on. HDR, yeah, it, also in conjunction with the levels, it makes things black and vibrance adds like a tad bit more color. And I happen to like that. But you know, like this, oh, let me turn this off. Uh, it's up to you. You don't have to use these obviously, but for me, I, I like I like the look. Uh, it's entirely up to your own, you know, your own tastes and personal, you know, discretion. You know, it's subjective. So if you like it, check it out. Uh, I'll point you in the right direction. I'll provide links in the description of the video as usual and or I will just upload all of these mods to my Google Drive and you can just download it from there if you're too lazy to look at an Nexus. Because you know, that can get tedious, so. All right. Let me just start the game, I'll stop yapping. And I'll, like I said, I'll play for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, see how far I can get. So you notice also I, I removed the HUD entirely except for objectives. So there is an orange flash on certain objects indicating or signifying that you can interact with them as well. I remove that. There is a mod for that, which I'll upload to my Google Drive. And yeah, you'll see here, uh, it's some weird Ebonic stuff. I thought it was funny. I just wanted to see what, a, what, what this thing was about, so. Verlaine, you on the lookout for a navigationizzle fool, biatch. I got a gangbang player that's just lost his shizzle and he looking for work. I can vouch for him. He got fat papers. All right, I'm, that, I'm done. But you get the picture. All right, here is a save, and if you look carefully, there's no orange flash. And let me just put clothes on her, on the main protagonist here. After which, this is also working. I have all the weapons. And like I said earlier, I made the game incredibly hard, but... At the same time, to balance it out, I gave myself unlimited ammo, and every tool that's in a game is pretty much at my disposal right now. Well, no, except for this certain wrench. I get that. That's like a main, main key part of the game, which I haven't gotten to. But yeah, I have all the weapons, but I remove the crosshair, and there's no reload, so... As you can see, the... Ammo stays pretty much static. These will definitely come in later with the Working Joes because they are actually, I think there's more of them. 
and they don't just walk after you now. Now, now they run after you. So, like I said, I it, it balances things out. I think and it's going to make the game a lot more interesting. So I'm dying to see how that is. I have a uh, unlimited flamethrower here, and now there are multiple aliens. I think there's between two and five of them now. So this will definitely come in handy. Yeah, that's it. There's a bolt gun, which you get much like much later in the game. Sounds amazing, by the way, with these uh, particular headphones I have. I have the Logitech. I think they're G35s, if I'm not mistaken. I'll provide a link for that particular product in the video description as well. Um, I have an affiliate marketing thing, so it's on Amazon. So if you want to check it out, check it out. It doesn't cost anything for you, but, you know, it would help me out if you clicked on the link and decided to purchase and, you know, purchase a product. So, all right. Uh, I'll stop yapping and I'll, I'll start the game. I'll try to keep the commentary to a minimum, by the way. I know that probably annoys certain people. So I'll shut up, I promise. Damn, look at those reflections. All right, all right I'll shut up. Holy shit. Wow. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. What? A no homo. Model, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. All right, all right, I'll shut up. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Speak to Samuels. Objectizel completed. Wow, there's even reflections on this glass. Very cool. You know, I'm curious. Let me turn the reflections off and see what kind of a difference it makes. Wow, okay. Ha, huh. that's crazy. No, it definitely looks way better with the reflections on. I mean, it, it, it's a matter of taste, once again. Some people, believe it or not, don't like it. I saw in the comments for this mod, or for the graphics overall, that some people don't like the reflections for some reason. And I agree, in, in VR, it does not look right. It looks, it makes you see double, actually, so I think what's happening is it's rendering in one eye and not the other. All right, look, all right, I promise I'm going to shut up now. Uh, let me, let me talk to Samuels, or whatever your name is. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. I'm sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. She's not really if looking at me. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing the for lips 15 aren't years and you... synced very well either. It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been oh, up for hours. Oh, wait. Taylor's in him, not Samuels. Looks like we're up. Get to the bridge for briefing. 
Yo, Taylor, I got your case request. Well, she. It may it may take me a while to dig up the files and the incident happened before my time all up in the company. So I'd be a little bit fuzzy on the details. In 21-22, the Wayland yutani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. All right, I'm not going to read all that shit. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Wow. Look how beautiful it is. trying to walk through me wait he looks the same as are they the same that's weird go and here's a cutscene looks great can we see it switch to monitors Sevastopol station is that damage it looks like damage punch up 74 tight angle looks like the dry dock bay is screwed I can't bring the torrents into that this is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland. Yutani Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> This is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrents in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Sound is really good. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Ripley, 
You're doing good, Tim. Just keep moving! Taylor Ripley, hold on! I don't have a flashlight yet, so...
turn it off before I get a freaking copyright. Oh, there's no button prompts. That's gonna be a problem. Oh no, I see it. You really have to look around now. Well, I do. I have to look around because I, like I said, I removed HUD elements and the orange glow from um from showing on the items. I play this damn game so many times. I pretty much know which items are which. Oh, well, at least I hope I do. Jupiter's clouds, those textures are swirling. And I have the tool ready, which is cool, the ion torch. And I don't care if I'm cheating. I don't want to backtrack.
It's Ransom. I just got your query. Yes, I have what? been in our transmission relay archive. Call me I've queer? The fuck, bro? I'm looking for crew logs that passed through Sevastopol a while ago. I know you're concerned, but it's ancient history. It's just some stuff I need to know. A routine company transmission packet sent from the edge of Thetis before a ship started its trip home. Nothing that's gonna break anything. This is Dallas. I'm about to broadcast the Lighting is really good. Sleep. Too dark out here.
Oh, damn, I fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna play for maybe a couple more minutes and call it quits. Gotta get some rest. modding friggin' Red Dead Redemption straight for well over a week now. Yeah, that game is very fickle, very hard to mod. Like playing Russian Roulette, I swear. One wrong mod and it can fuck up your whole list. I think Rockstar made it on purposely. They purposely made it very difficult to mod for some reason. Assholes, I swear. Passcode, what is it though? That's not it, is it? No, passcodes only four numbers. Maybe I'll try 3140. I don't know. Look around. I am so sorry. You were right. I never should have come here. Please tell Beth and Ivy. Tell them that I love them more than anything. Oh gosh, I hurt so much. I found something in. I, I don't know what it was, but I found it. That was me. It's going everywhere. Uh, I feel so much. It has to be right. I was so stupid, Ed. I wish I stayed with you. I wish. I wish. That's got to be the exit up ahead. Give me that tool. Fuck. I think I need this more than you do.
interview subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. I just wanna know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure someone's accountable. No? Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. And here we go. Next cutscene with Axel. If that's his name, right? Axel. Stay still. Okay. Okay. Uh, turn around. Come on! I'm Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley! Station. A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, huh, that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blew just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? Place on the ship. How did I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. Let's go, sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Cystex bio. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. Watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there, okay? Check out the lighting behind him. Come on, I don't want to stick around here long. Shut up. Is that you following me back there? Had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. Stick close to me. What? Hey, don't move. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We're not looking for trouble. Who are you? I'm John. This is Ringo. They're just some assholes. Ringo. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared. 
keeping to their own, safer that way. I hope this ship of yours is the real McCoy. Hold up. Let me get the elevator. Allow me. Place is old. Needs a special touch. Well, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. Space terminal Keep the noise down here. There might be people around. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on. Right now. Listen, darling. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, braid each other's hair, and chat all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship. I need to know what's going on. Right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer? What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No. Something else. A monster. <laughs> Shit. We need to move. This way. Get down! This is bullshit, man. You should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? There's no way off. At least we're safe down here. For how long? What if they come for us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. We shouldn't have done that back there. I know we're hungry, but... Man. Trouble! The controls are too sensitive. So we'll have to go random. Follow me. Still too sensitive. Uh, it's a little better. Friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers, even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I ain't pulling your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. I've noticed. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. I don't know when you'll get another chance. Been hunkered down here for a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. Got the flashlight. It can uh -oh. get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. There it is. Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. Just be careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. That's pretty bright. This way. Tells you reading the android brain, understanding our half brothers, Albert Magnus.
What now? I'll watch the vent. There's another vent right here somewhere. I marked it so I wouldn't forget it. How about you look around? We're not going anywhere until you find that vent. Axel, is this it? Hold on. I'm coming. See? Yeah, I love how dark things are. Oh, here's a tag. Not smart to stay here too long. Is this the way everyone travels around here? Just those that want to stay alive, sweetheart. Torrance, so that's your ship, huh? Quiet. I hear something. Yeah, I hear you. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. There's always something going down. Come on. We don't want to piss him off. <coughs> Follow me. What's the emergency? Someone else has been here. Everyone, stay alert. Keep your guns tight. Shoot anyone you don't know. Stick around while I check our stock. I gotta sleep soon. I can't hack much more of this. Doesn't Who's seem there? to be broken. Come oh, fuck. We won't hurt you. Oopsie. I saw Luda inside. If we the know you're in there. Blown, there'd be smoke. Well, oh, it's man. not working now. Do you see me? Oh, shit. Got stuck in it. Set off it's nice work, he sounded like he was like right behind me. They're still close by. Follow me. I mean, I have weapons, but I think you get killed like one shot. Your ship's still there. 
Sevastopol not quite what you're expecting, eh? I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. How's he doing? both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one. You go to the one on the other side. Okay. Ready. On three. One, two, three. Axel, behind you. What? Uh! Bums think you can take what you want? Get the fuck off me! Fuck. Let's go. The others are on their way. We need to go! No! Hey, you bastard! Move it! Shoot him! Shit, I think he's dead. They killed him. Come on! You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Do you understand? Here's something. I hear something. Axel? What have I got on me? Semen. Alien semen. Xenomorph semen. Transit. Call, 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 call. Come on, where is it? I wonder if I can make it in this door. No, I'm not gonna even try. Forget it.
Oh, do I have the tuner, I wonder? Ha! I do. Nice. What? That one, that one. There you go. Science officer's initial log. I've been installed on board the Nostromo. All the relevant paperwork has been signed, and I have access to the ship's mother 6000 mainframe. Captain Dallas and the executive officer seem put out by my appearance, but that's perhaps to be expected. All that's left is to hope for a productive journey. Ash, signing off. goes. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember ever playing those little mini games. Chief here. As requested, I've resubmitted my report for the removal of the transit system for use elsewhere. Once Sevastopol's been closed off. I still don't see how it's possible. I know Seekson is trying to recoup as much investment as it can on this place, but the thing is trashed. Junctions have rusted through, major safety protocols have been ignored for years. It's a wreck. Nothing short of a miracle is stopped.
stopped it killing off half the population. Get up. Over here. Someone's here. An access to her. No, I already have it. She was trying to hack the elevator security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Just need to find a new data set. Ah, fuck. What did I do? Oh, I can't. They all look the same to me. This one. There you go. Ah, shit. Uh-oh. I can get I can leave through here too. That's crazy. Yeah, I hope this is not going to mess the game up. Should not be here. Invalid. Okay. What the 
hell is this? certain parts of the game or scripted parts of the game probably aren't even activated yet yeah i sh probably should not save here though i have no idea where i am Oh, she's got <laughs> she's got a mask too. That's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. Yo, this is the ultimate freaking cheat thingy. Yeah, this is gonna mess up some scripts, guaranteed.
hell is this? Seven, eight, nine. Whatever, I'm not reading that. Okay, I was here. All right? Yeah, I was here. I think, did I come from here? Yeah, all right. That's about it. save up here. Okay. thingy down there. Let's see if I can take her out. Do you think we're safe here? It doesn't feel safe. Damn, she's so slow. I can't believe they just killed him. This place went to hell so quick. Dumbass. <laughs> really? Oh shit. Uh oh. Okay. All right, you can't go through every single place or a door. Is that? Yeah, it would mess up the script. So some areas are like um, you can only access after certain events, I guess. That's what I'm guessing. Oh shit! Did he 
you see me? Peekaboo. <laughs> Did you see me? Peekaboo. Are you now? Have one on me. Remind me why I agreed to this contract. Quiet. Get head. Is there another guy? Restore power. Restore power. Oh, there he is. Oh, he sees me. Oh my god, I got him. Wow. <laughs> wow, these NPCs are stupid as hell. Oh, fuck. Just kidding. That and wake up that alien thingy or notify the alien. Oh, dog tag. Oh, wow, I can go to Seekson. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm just gonna do what I'm supposed to do. There it is. Thank you. Re listen to me very carefully. I want you to leave work now. Collect Claire, pick up the cat, and head home. We need to cat. find some place safe till Seeks and send a ship. I saw the guy from down the hall. I can't remember his name. The one in the dirty baseball cap, weird smell. Weird he had smell. something in his coat. I think it was a gun. Just look right through me. Don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. I'll meet you as soon as I can. So cool. The VR looks incredible. What was that? Uh... God, that sounds insane with these headphones. All right, here's the safe. And the revolver. Oh, wait, I already have one. I already have a revolver. 25 shots. Nice. Key card. Wait, where's the key card? Key card, key card. Where are you? Oh, there it is.
Okay, I think here is my first meeting with the friggin' xenomorph. She freaks out in there. Let me just grab some stuff here first. Oh god. There you go. Make this my thumbnail.
All right, now here's where I meet the alien. Shut that thing down, and then the xenomorph appears. Search every nook and cranny first. something up. That's weird, there was no cutscene. Okay, there's something going on here. This is not working. try one more time <laughs> all right I gotta I don't know where is it fuck that playing through our time
Oh, I think it's maybe... Okay. When I grabbed that tuner, I didn't do it in the order I was supposed to. I, that's got to be it. go okay 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 now it's working that's weird Why won't you open? Yo, she's not opening it. That... What the fuck is wrong with this joystick? Alright, I'm gonna save it. Go, 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 go. Save, save, save. Where's the save? I don't wanna do that shit again. Alright, here you go. See, I don't want to run. If I run, it's going to hear me. Just walk. The key is to walk. Oh, man. Well, that... I opened that thing already, so... The elevator door. Again? Yeah, all right, it's open. Oh, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it, please? I'm tempted to run. Oh, okay, good. Ha! Fuck you, alien. Right. Yeah, this is where I left off the last time, I think. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. Uh, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Nope. Oh, I think... Shit. I don't know if I can do this. Hurry up, hurry up. I think this is where I have to go. I'm not sure. Yeah, make more noise. Get it. Always working for you. Our synthetics are made to be simple. No emotional simulations. No life real qualities. They just work for you so you can get on with your life in perfect peace of mind. 
Oh, what is that? Wait a minute. In the right place. Locked. Oh. ID. It's locked. Okay, there's a cassette player here. Make your way to comms control. There's another one. Shit. Alright, I'm facing the right way, but we cut through this door first. Oh, fuck. Shit. You know what? Damn. Oh, that dude is fast as hell. I hit him with a shotgun. Fuck that. Is he hostile or what? Okay, his eyes are white. Okay, he's not attacking, so I'm not gonna attack him then. See, these dudes can flip at any moment. Kind of like certain people I know. Wait a minute, do I need something in there? Nothing. Hey there, buddy. Can I get by?
Oh no, it's another one. Shit. Well, they're not attacking, so I don't know. I don't trust this dude. Is there anything I can grab? Oh, stay away from me. Attacking. Yeah. I ain't complaining. Flashlight's not working. Uh. Shit, my flashlight's not working. Okay, here it is. Some kind of tracker. Oh, uh, motion tracker. It's been modified. Yeah. Wait, how do I use it? Um. Something's happening here. Why didn't she pick it up? Yo, I can't use my weapons. Yeah, I got a feeling I fucked something up. Oh, no. Is he hot? Can you turn around? Go away. What the? Okay. Yeah. There's, uh... There's some serious glitching going on. Oh. Is there a problem? No. No. No problem. Oh, man. Where do I go? Relay facility.
Okay, I guess. Yeah? No? What? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I fucked something up. Key card required. Restore power. What the hell? Okay, I fucked something up for sure. Hello, my name's Ripley, Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. Comms control access. I get, I thought I was there. Cool. What is this? Cool and maintenance. I was here, wasn't I? Yeah. All right. I was here. This game's confusing, man. All right, his eyes look red. Can I help you? I no. need to get into comms control. It's urgent. Where is comms control? This is comms control, isn't it? No, service exchange. Service exchange. Ah! Idiot. This has got to be... No, door override. All right. Utility? Perhaps? Door access. There we go. Wait. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Here's a save. I'm gonna save it right here and call it quits. I've been playing for like two hours probably. Yeah. Um, this game looks great. Especially with the reshade, the textures. Oh, let me... I should open... Oh, what was that? I want to try opening that door first. Remove the brace. Where the hell is this? Oh, the showers. Interesting. Alright. But yeah, the game looks great. Especially with the reshade and some of the other mods that I so I forgot but um what I installed. I mean, I'll save it one more time. Fuck it. Oh, damn, that's right. You can't just save over and over again. I think you have to wait a few minutes between each save. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Okay. Alright, can I save yet? Dude. Alright, anyhow, I'll just re reopen it. No big deal. Alright, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna... 
uh, include the VR tutorial because it's it's pretty much the same. All you have to do, just like, like just like I showed you earlier, you just gotta drag the file. It's a DL file or a DXGI file into the main folder, and that's it. Just start it up. Just remember, it doesn't work with Steam, so you have to play the VR. If you want to play VR, you gotta play it on the Epic Store or the Epic's version of the game. All right, so pretty much everything everything else works fine. You install mods the same exact way, just like I showed you. Super easy. All right, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you found it useful, and if you enjoyed my gameplay, please uh, consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. All right, with that said, I'm out of here. Good night, everybody. Have a have a great night, and I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye bye.